What testing methods are there for partial discharges? Well, we remember partial discharges create heat, they create light, they create sound, they create some kind of an electromagnetic signal, and they usually uh, trigger some kind of a chemical reaction. And they usually this is caused by the heat. So all of these things help us to find partial discharges. At least for me, I differentiate between testing or measuring them and detecting them. Um, the IC6270, that's a standard that deals uh, greatly with partial discharge testing, uh, usually refers only to the electric signal. This being said, there are quite a lot of standards that talk about UHF sensors and other sensors. So let's differentiate. First of all, detection. This is when I'm, at least for me, when I'm saying, okay, I'm trying to detect, are there partial discharges, yes or no? And if they are, it usually triggers the second step of measuring them. So first of all, I'm coming to a high voltage device and I want to see are there partial discharges, yes or no. And the easiest way would be light and sound, right? And then there are the other ways where I'm having something which is called an, like a handheld device in order to figure that out. This is usually using the electromagnetic signal in some way or the other. And there are possibilities like DGA, the soft gas analysis. Okay, without further ado, let's go for the next videos and then have videos for each single subject or at least for the most important ones. See you soon.